after 41 diplomats Canada withdrew them from India. Tropic government sources tell uh, News 18 that the statement that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, had made on the floor of the House and Parliament in Canada that India had some kind of involvement about the killing of Niger. It seems like that there is no evidence on record to prove any of those claims. Top sources uh, revealed to uh, uh, near Network 18 that the Indian government actually tried to reach out to the Canadian authorities through back channels and figured out that if there is any evidence and cred uh, credible evidence that exists on record to prove the claims that were made by Canadian Prime Minister. But it seems like after that political noise that was made and the manner in which it was escalated, it has not been substantiated to that great extent. Anand, no proof on the table to make the claims that were earlier put out with so much, uh, you know, uh, uh, so much loud noises and the kind of stand that Canada had taken. True. And uh, in terms of misinformation or trying to spin the narrative in a different way altogether, we've seen what the Foreign Minister of Canada tried to do even with the 41 diplomats yeah. being asked to be uh, you know, sent back or recalled. Hmm. That was the request that was made and the kind of language that was used tried to insinuate that India was trying to play uh, a diplomatic uh, game here or trying to be unreasonable, trying to bring forth Vienna Convention, etc. But India has just said parity is what we want. The same number of people there, same number of people here. On the other hand, as far as Hardeep Nichir, it is interesting that more than two and a half months has gone by. Justin Trudeau has not even been able to convince his opposition, the people in Canada itself, forget mm. convincing mm. India. Yep. On the other, and, and we are openly saying, if uh, CNN News 18 can access this and our group editor security, Manoj Gupta, can access it, clearly the Canadians cannot refute it. Mm. The fact that backdoor channels, we are saying, give us evidence, come and prove. Where is the case? Where is the FIR? Hmm. Because time and again, the Canadian government has turned around and said the Canadian courts will decide. Yeah. But the courts can decide based only on a charge sheet that's been filed. Where is the charge sheet? Does the right. charge sheet name suspects? Do you have even video proof? Do you have the names of who did it? They don't know. Not just Hardeep Nijar, they have no clue who killed Ripodaman Singh. Hmm. That also Ripodaman Singh Malik, two years ago it happened, they have no clue. They hmm. don't know who co who killed the Baloch uh, activist uh, in 2020. They have not prof, uh, brought forth the Canada. Canada cops have got no clue and there is no, uh, it, it was not even called a criminal death. It was said that it was a uh, non-criminal uh, act, yeah. uh, her death. So Karima Baloch. So in all cases, the, the point is, okay, Ripodaman Singh Malik was also killed on uh, Canadian soil. Who killed Ripodaman Singh Malik, they have no answers. Hardeep Singh Nature, especially which was raised by Justin Trudeau. If a Prime Minister of a country is saying that and making an allegation and he's dry, ready to drive a diplomatic wedge because of this, yeah. then there should be some proof and if Canada was really serious about acting on it, there should be proof. Hmm. And even on backdoor channels, if you are repeatedly saying, give us the proof, tell us the evidence, what are the names, who are these people? They've not got any answers. So clearly, somewhere Canada, not just on the back foot, hmm. they seem to have committed a, a huge diplomatic harakiri. And the heat is on them now. The Five Eyes will also turn around and say, give the, the evidence. If yeah. we have given you intel, you've gone ahead and shared it to the whole world and to the Canadian Parliament, right. then go ahead and back it with claim and proof. This, this entire chapter is going to be remembered as a dark chapter because India and Canada have traditionally enjoyed good relationship. And it seems like that to counter the domestic uh, factors which were not working in favor of justice, Justin Trudeau, he tried to rake up this controversy with India. But any democratic country or with certain degree of due process, as you said, would put the evidence on the table. Canada has not been able to do that. This is bound to have a backlash even domestically, not just from the opposition, but from the Canadian citizens as well. This could also be seen, Anusha and to our viewers, as a massive deflect attention kind of a thing that let's try and pin it on India, yeah. thinking that uh, we as a nation will not be as strong in our response as we were. Mm. Because there was a lot of heat on Justin Trudeau and his administration on the Chinese intelligence activities on China and, and their meddling in Canada's internal affairs. Mm. Wei Hu, how, who killed uh, uh, him? On Chinese, on Canadian soil, there was no answer. Yeah. The Chinese meddling into Canadian politics, their interference, and what huge questions that were being raised by the Canadian opposition there and by the people. And to deflect that, you know, did Justin Trudeau just name Hardeep Nijar's death and, and, and speak about this as a larger question, thinking that India would be easier to manage or to try and deflect attention yeah. and try yeah. and politically milk it. Yeah. But now this has become a double whammy for him because he's neither able to answer what happened in Canadian inter uh, with the Chinese intelligence. Yes. He's Saying Indians are also meddling, and uh, many other nations are saying persons of our 
terrorists are finding safe havens on Canadian soil. So much so, Israel is also saying that Hamas activists are actually riling up and uh, doing protests on Canadian soil. And Justin Trudeau administration is at a loss to try and curb these elements. The ex-Hamas chief is uh, is based in Canada right now and yeah. he's a Canadian citizen. Yeah. So. The Trudeau administration finds itself cornered because Canada now seems to be the safe haven for all nefarious elements. Now, is that what the Trudeau administration and the Canadian government wants to be known as? Uh, in the garb of a nation that respects freedom of speech and allows all citizens, aren't you checking their antecedents? So, that's a question that the Canadians now have to answer. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Anand, for your time and thank you for joining us on The Nation at Five. Uh, let's also let, uh, listen in to what the Canadian uh, Finance Minister said earlier. Let's listen into that sound bite. We've had numerous conversations with um, India before the Prime Minister went in front of the House and made his declaration. This was not a surprise to the government of India. A surprise, but the evidence, did you show them and the evidence? through these different conversations, the uh, Indian officials were made aware of the credible allegations. And so based on that, um, India has um, decided to take their own decisions, which are precedent setting, and revoking the diplomatic immunity of 41 diplomats is not only unprecedented, but also contrary to international law. 